Hello there and welcome back or welcome if you're new. My name is Daphne. I want to welcome you to my channel. I'm so happy that you clicked on this video today. Today I'm just going to be sharing exactly how my backyard is looking at this time in early February. Um, we do have some really nice weather in the forecast and we've been experiencing over the last week or so. So I decided to take advantage of the little sunshine and warm weather that we have and be able to just give you an idea of what we're looking like and what we're gonna be doing over the next couple of days. So we're getting started here on the patio. So over the fall, I just gathered all of our loose containers and I tried to put it close up against the house. In case we get uh, really cold days, it's able to you know, keep everything close together and keep any warmth you know, that we have outside um, together to protect um, a lot of these plants. Now, um, we are in uh, zone 7B, so it doesn't get terribly cold, but we do like to just make sure that we protect our plants as best as can. These two plants here are the juniper, which usually are on our front porch inside of our planters. I moved all of that to the back um, of the house so that it can be just uh, protected from a lot of the harsh winds that the front portion of the landscape receives. And this is just an empty uh, window box, not window box, a uh, um, raised garden bed that um, we usually plant up with um, some veggies and we'll be doing that again in the spring. And this little planter, uh, little bed on this right hand side facing the house is a mess. So we're going to be doing something with that grass. And then this side over here is a bed that we worked on last year and we're gonna be incorporating a lot more plants and we're gonna be refreshing the mulch and everything back there. And facing the house, this is the bed on the left hand side where it meets my neighbor's um, side. And my neighbor is a little higher elevation, so we do have like a little rock wall um, that just holds the earth back on that side. And it just gives it a nice little landing on our side. And we also have some Creeping Jenny that blooms and looks really nice back there. So this is the total overview of the back area and I just am going to give you a quick um, segment on how the mulberry tree was taken down um, a couple, I would say about a month or two ago. So this is how it used to look in this back fence area with the huge, huge mulberry. And unfortunately, there was a large crack in the back portion of the mulberry uh, trunk, so we had to have it removed. So this is the professional tree uh, arbors that came in and did the work for us. So in case this is the first time that you're stopping by, my name is Daphne and I just wanna welcome you to my channel. We are a small new channel, but we are gathering so much support and I do want to thank you and I wanna thank everyone for clicking on this video today and spending a little time with me. 
at the end of the video i am going to be doing a recap because we have done so many projects so far in this backyard so um, before you leave make sure that you check out the recap and i hope that you enjoy the videos enough in the recap to stay a while and check out the full videos So unfortunately, we won't have as much shade uh, coverage as we had when we had that huge mulberry, but I think we'll still have enough shade in this back area and we'll just be able to adjust the type of plants that we have planted based on the amount of sun that we'll be having. So because the weather is so nice out, I just wanted to just get a jump start on our spring cleanup. So we're going to be working on these two beds in the back back here. And we're just gonna clear everything out and then we're gonna see what else we're able to do. I have to say whenever I'm working out here in the garden and I'm collecting debris I am always surprised at how much debris is actually down and that I'm collecting now after I get all of this together I'm going to be um, heading over to our organic yard where we're able to dump all of this uh, yard waste so that it can you know be recycled um, so that's what I'm going to be doing after I finish all of this This is a little um, bed that's directly next to the patio that I try to make sure, you know, I put nice annual uh, flowers and make it look nice. This grass that I planted here um, several years ago, I'm definitely going to have to divide it and either really like divide it down so that maybe it's a quarter of the size or I'm just gonna remove it all together because I think it's too close to the hydrangea. But that will be something that, you know, I'll be able to do um, in the next couple of weeks. But this is how I was able to clean it up. I still have to cut back all of these dusty millers that I added there. So again, I want to thank you so much for stopping by. I hope that you enjoy. And here is the recap. Until the next time, I hope that you have a blessed day. Thank you.